to Your Health, where we talk to local health leaders to help you feel better, live better, and be better. Hey everybody and welcome to To Your Health. Well, today we're gonna to talk about infertility struggles. To help us through that is Anja from Natural Healthy Concepts. Hello again. Hi. It was one month ago that we were here and we talked about infertility. But I wondered if we could follow up with that and maybe talk about some of the root causes for it. Absolutely, yes. So one in 10 women struggle with PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. And this just causes the shift of the female hormones to go towards testosterone instead. And then they're infertile. So if you have that, uh, would there be symptoms or is this just something you should get checked out anyway? There can definitely be symptoms, yes. And I say the most common symptoms are either missed periods or very, very irregular periods. But you can also have insulin resistance, you can have weight gain, you can also have more, more body or facial hair. Let's talk about how easy it is to test for that to find out if that's what you have. Very easy. So at NHC, we do offer hormone testing. So get your hormones tested, see where they're at, see if, if it actually is this more of a heavy testosterone type problem. Um, and then you can always follow up with an ultrasound with your doctor. Gotcha. So if we find out mm -hmm. that one in 10 women, 10%, what do we do if that's the case? Okay, so we work on diet for insulin resistance. We also go ahead and use something called inositol, which is a B vitamin that helps with blood sugar control. And then we work at shifting the hormones. So reishi is a mushroom that will shift testosterone towards estrogen. And then we incorporate Vitex berry, which in increases the progesterone. And if we're in that stage of mm -hmm. starting a family, mm -hmm. Uh, it sounds like this is kind of a no-brainer to get checked out with anyway, but is there a time limit that you see this tends to work better? Um, it takes, in general, about three months for hormones to start shifting. So don't expect a lot that first three months, and then we do want to retest to make sure it's working. And then steady as she goes, and, and we're kind of back in the, in the saddle. And just knowing, we talked last month about just kind of a reset for your body, this would just help that out. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. And because this is kind of a dense subject, more information on NHC.com. Yes. And then you also have this coupon code right here. So if anybody is interested, it's a nice way to try it, isn't it? It is. Absolutely. Come and reach out to us. All right. Well, Angela, thanks so much for being here and helping us get fertile again. And we want to thank you for watching To Your Health. The proceeding was a paid advertisement.